merch. Buy that merch. Buy that merch. The power of the dark side. side, 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 side. Yo, so how's it going, my dudes, and welcome back. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the Baron. It's an easy name. All right, all right, awesome name. And after that, we got the sniper, the rifle. When I get my hand on them, I'm gonna be making a video for sure. But then I need to make a video on the on the heroes as well. But with that out of the way, the Baron. A little bit spicy let me explain why i have these perks over here first of all i went full crit damage the thing is if you have a constructor in your loadout that gives crit and this weapon starts with 20 percent critical rates then i don't think we need a crit perk over here it's not gonna be as useful 39 percent critical rate just from a perk from the team is pretty awesome so i got double crit damage i got a little bit of attack speed because believe me when i say this is a goddamn slow freaking weapon all right check this out with 20 percent attack speed it's gonna take us 0 0.8 seconds to launch one attack all right for one single hit nani it's gonna take this long with 20 percent attack speed it's a goddamn slow weapon if you want to go full heavy attack with this which works fantastic we're gonna talk about it in game then i recommend changing this to whatever last perk you have, all right? Damage to snare and slow targets. Because we only got damage to slow and snare targets, I believe we will not get anything else on this weapon. But hey, there might be a specific perk that I don't know about. Please do let me know, because this site as well had a specific perk, and it was awesome. So thank you for telling me. With that out of the way, here's the loadout. Hey, <laughs> boy! Oh, boy! Finally, finally we're playing with our thick Benny. FBI, open up! I mean tank Benny. All right, tank, pay attention. All right, pay attention. Hey, I, I just want to say one thing. Trust me, trust me. When you see this comments over here all the time telling you to use my code, I don't tell them. Believe me, every time I log in, I want to record. They just say it themselves. I don't say anything. They just come up with it. So thank you so much for doing that. You guys are awesome, all right? So with that done, this is the loader that I went for, all right? Let me explain why I didn't put heavy attack efficiency on my weapon. You see, I could have changed this to heavy attack efficiency, all right? But I didn't change it at all, it's still durability. If I'm gonna change it, it's gonna be life leech. Otherwise, I'm not gonna go for heavy attack efficiency. Otherwise, my build will not work, all right? So let's come back here, because the team perk that we have, every time you lose energy, you're gonna get shield back. Because if we have heavy attack efficiency on our Baron, all right, when we use the heavy attack, it's super slow and it's not gonna take a lot of energy. That means we will not get a lot of shield. That means by the time you do the animation, you'll already be dead because, oh boy, the animation takes a little bit, but when it hits, oh boy, it's so spicy. You will see, all right? That's why I didn't go for heavy attack efficiency at all. Instead, I went for Fall in love, Ranger, John Z to get some energy back. And this is the loadout, normal stuff. Deadly Blade Crash, every time you crit, you're gonna cause affliction. Really awesome with the hammer because we focus on crit. Then I went for this guy. I could have used this guy as a main hero, but come on, man, we wanna use Penny, we all know. But I recommend if you wanna just go for the heavy attack, not normal attacks as well, only heavy attack, then this is gonna be better. This mythic hero is gonna be way better because he gives 150% extra kinetic overload damage. So that's awesome. Then I went for this guy this guy is important as i told you if you don't want to put crit on the weapon then you will need this guy for extra crit on the hardware weapon and assassin serum works as well with the hardware weapons every time you hit you're gonna get damaged and stack up to five times so with that out of the way i'm so hyped there's one thing i want to talk about oh boy can can we all can we all just take a look at this my thoughts all right my, my, my thoughts all right my thought when i look at this figure all right what were epic thinking when they made this character all right hey henry henry god damn it where's the character design Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, let me see. We got the ninja, we got the outlander, and we got the soldier. Really, really awesome stuff, but when we think of uh, constructors, we need something big. So let me, let me see to, let me see how this is gonna work. It's gonna be like this. This. And this. Perfect. All right, surrounding game. So I did one encampment so far, just so we can get to the good stuff, the hard encampment. So here's the thing. I just want to say, check this out on the weapon. The steam keeps coming up. It's so cool. Check this out. It's coming. Come on. Nani? 
Yeah, there it is. Oh, cool. Ah, uh, cool. So this weapon is mainly focused on the heavy attack, to be honest. It's all about the heavy attack. And oh boy, it's strong. It's, it melts. It melts, all right? So you want to be careful. Keep in mind, we don't have healing on our weapon or on our team perks. So I really recommend if you want to sacrifice one damage perk, just put survival jonesy instead so you can survive. Otherwise, you have to change this to life leech. Life leech is really important. Sadly, I don't have a lot of re-perks, so I didn't do that. But... You will die. <laughs> you will die if you're not careful, all right? All right. This is a large group. God damn. Oh, my God. All right. Check this out. The heavy attack. Here we go. This is what I love. Check this out. It's so awesome. I don't like where this is going. March. Fight it. March. Fight it. March. Stop! You know what? I really should have sacrificed one damage perk for Survival Jonesy. We really, really need Survival Jonesy. That was a mistake. A melee constructor is not so strong, so I don't know. I might change Assassin Sarah for a Survival Jonesy. Not sure, because this one is important. We crit a lot and we do a lot of crit damage, so this is really good. All right. This one with the heavy attack, we always use it. This is going to do a lot of damage. We need the crit, so we only left with Assassin Sarah. So, changing Assassin Sarah to Survival John's Apes, I think, is gonna be the best option. What the hell are you doing? I was stalking, goddammit. All right, I need to kill this plaster. He came for me first. All right, he, he wanna die. He wanna die so badly. Come on. All right. No. Smash. No. Oh, that's so cool. No, don't do it. Off you go. Why are they dying? Why did he die? Did he die from the affliction? I wonder. Because if you remember the last video, the, the taker just died out of nowhere. <laughs> the hell all right, let's follow this guy what are you doing when i see the damage all right normal attack damage 33,000 without assassin sarah buff but the more we hit the more damage we're gonna be doing as you can see 35,000 now and he died from the affliction so yeah in my opinion removing assassin sarah for some healing is the best option because the affliction is really important i love this hammer man it's so cool Deadly Blade Crash is really one of the best ninjas as a team perk or as a main hero for melee weapons. It's she's just crazy strong. Can I just can we just think about her, alright? Let's just think about her. Can can we just think about it? Alright, there's my objective, alright? I'm gonna run towards it. I'm gonna keep running, but while I'm running, alright, where will my vision be? <laughs> what were Epic thinking? Of course it's gonna be somewhere that's not appropriate. Come on! All right, that's a large group. I don't think I don't think this is the encampment. Is this the encampment? No way. There's water and fire at the same time. Element husks against a physical weapon. Here we go. Come on, come on. In three, two, one, smash! Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I need to keep smashing my energy. Oh no! Yeah, you. If you want your shield to keep going up, you have to keep smashing. Don't forget, we don't have healing. But come on, to survive this long as a constructor with this large group in a power 100. And don't forget, this is an epic version of her. It's not that legendary, so it doesn't have a lot of shield and health. So we're still doing good. We didn't die yet. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, the damage is great. How much do we crit for? I need to check how much is our crit. If we crit against normal husks, because this is a physical weapon. Against element, 85,000. We saw it right there. 85,000 a crit against element husks. With a physical weapon, which is not so bad at all. Want to see the crit? Crit, please. Oh, no crit. God damn it. Still no crit. 120,000. A crit against normal husks. Here's the sad thing. If you use your heavy attack on propanes, they're going to explode. So you got to be careful with that. All right. Check out our shield. Here we go. Shield up. Shield up. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, it's so dumb. And the shield keeps out. Oh, we got hit by nature husks. Oh, keep losing energy. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> they keep flying. I'm not done yet. Did he die? No. Now? Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's awesome. I I'm really enjoying this hammer. Because I can do this. Heavy attack. Do this. Heavy attack. And I can build Assassin Sarah assassination and do the maximum damage. 
But remember, if you don't have healing on your weapon, then you have to swap Assassin Sarah for Survival Johnsy instead. Alright, so I'm gonna be ending the video here. I was just testing things around, trying it, and seeing how it works. To be honest, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And the reason I didn't go for the Mythic Constructor as a main hero, because this lady gives 50% extra damage. Don't forget, 50% extra damage for normal attacks, even if you don't do the Kinetic Overload, and for the Heavy Attack. So, works both ways. In my opinion, it's gonna be better. But if you want to go for full heavy attack build, then you might want to go for the mythic constructor. Alright, and change the perks around so you can have heavy attack efficiency or life leech. And change the build around the way you like. But with that out of the way, the only bad thing about this weapon that I can think of is the attack speed. It's really slow, really slow. But the damage is great, the damage is great. 130,000 a crit. It's not bad at all. So I really recommend it if you get it, why not use it with Thick Bunny, I mean Tank Bunny, it's gonna be great. So with that out of the way, let me know what you think, and I will see you later on with another one. Take care, and hey, have yourself a good day, huh?